Hello friends. So next today we'll see a very important topic with respect to cache memory that is mapping functions. So first is block replacement or mapping function both the same term. So what is block? Already I have mentioned before block is nothing but a set of consecutive memory locations content right i i plus 1 i plus 2 like that means nearby memory location content together we used to term as a block when processor generates an address for any read or write operation what we do first we check whether that address content is present in the cache memory or not right because we will generate the address with respect to main memory we means processor and then we will try to find out whether that address content is already placed in the cache if so it is a hit then we will perform our read or write operation if not then what we used to do we used to bring the block containing the address that we are trying to access for our read or write operation here i am talking about allocate method right for write operation our read or write operation from the main memory that is the unit of transfer between the main memory and the cache is a block please do understand we are not going to bring the data item or the byte that we were trying to access what we have brought the block containing the data item that we were trying to access so in uh, between memory and the processor the unit of transfer is block and the next is and next one is the main memory is bigger compared to the cache hence the whatever is the number of bits will be required to address a main memory will be having more number of bits as that of your cache memory's address because cache memory is smaller in size compared to main memory so what we are going to see in this block replacement how using that bigger address we are going to Uh, refer the smaller cache memory and how we are going to find out one data item inside a block in a cache memory right so see in block placement or mapping functions we will see how to access a byte within a block in the cache memory for a given memory address so for a given address we will find out in which block it will be then inside the block where my data item is there that we will retrieve right so these things we are going to discuss in our mapping functions so see mapping functions determine how memory blocks will be placed in the cache there are three mapping functions are there direct mapping associative mapping set associative mapping this is one of the very very important topic in gate exams also we used to get questions from this topic as well as in our university exam also so this is a very important topic we need to understand it properly and to understand it properly our previous uh, means explanations are also uh, required that is that unit of transfer is block then what, what is write through what is hit what is miss and all so see first i will discuss with a direct mapping cache so see in case of direct mapping cache the position of a particular block in the cache memory is fixed what does it mean first let me explain say this is my uh, your sorry this is my uh, see though we think that our main memory is a linear array of bytes but actually whenever we refer to a, a particular item then we are not referring it as a linear array of bytes rather we are referring it inside a block so first we'll see where my in which block my data item is there so inside a block it is present right so within a block we are going to refer it it is not, not like that ki it is a linear array of bytes right and this block can be placed anywhere in the cache memory right so suppose this block is placed here in this block of the cache memory this block is placed inside this block this block is placed inside the cache memory here so see what is the job of mapping function is to find uh, means to tell us that where main memory one particular block will be placed in the cache where one main memory block will be placed in the cache memory that is been um, find out using our mapping functions inside uh, uh, once we know our block number 
we can find out our data item because if my block is here then inside that wherever my data item is there that i can find out using something called as offset hope you remember what is offset displacement that we have seen in our addressing mode videos so displacement or your replay uh, this one what is that offset is nothing but wherever you are from there how far you are located so if your block is here this is a beginning of the block inside that block where your data item is there that is nothing but displacement or offset so that we can find out so in case of direct mapping in case of direct mapping for each block of the main memory the position in the cache is fixed right suppose this block will come to cache memory this position only as well as this one will also occupy the same position please do understand here i have not meant that both at the same time both the blocks will be there in the cache memory no if i am referring to this block then it has to be kept inside this block of the cache memory and suppose here i have i am doing some operation so i am referring to that instruction and data from this block only now suppose i am changing my locality and from the main memory this block data i need to retrieve so if i need to retrieve it i will try to find it in the cache memory in the cache memory right now it is not present so i need to bring it into the cache memory where i will bring that particular position is fixed in case of direct mapping that means this block will occupy only this position so if it is so then whenever this block was there and this block we are trying to access then what we have to do this block we need to send back to the main memory that means it will now become empty into this empty block we will bring the incoming block this is how it is done so see once again i will repeat in case of direct mapping for each of the main memory blocks the position or the block number in the cache is fixed and how it is been fixed uh, means what are the functions used for doing this that we'll see now so see in your main memory address one part will indicate what is your block number just some time back only i told you the main memory is now not viewed as a linear array of bytes how it is going to be viewed it will be viewed as a some blocks inside those blocks data are there so into which block your data item belong means inside which block i am going to get the data item that is block number that is block address this is my main memory address do understand and inside that block where my data item can be found that is obtained by the offset right offset so suppose this is my block i know my block number is this this is block address inside this block where my data item is found that is nothing but offset inside a block i used to get my data item right this is main memory address now see this main memory block will occupy one particular position in the cache right and that part is indicated by this middle bits in my memory address by this middle bits in the main memory address right one part is offset where from i'll get these bits what is their length i'll come to this very shortly so see this lower order parts indicate that within a block how far my data item is located then next bits some set of bits indicates which particular block number will have the block containing this particular address inside the cache right so this index indicates which block of the cache memory will have this particular address right so uh, this is my cache memory right so in cache memory these are my different blocks blocks contains what the data right as well as with every block we used to maintain something called as tag right some higher order bits of my address is termed as uh, tag so in every block there will be some tag bits and they will have some value 1010 10 like that in binary they will have some value tag as well as your generated address that means your main memory address higher order some bits indicates tag right so see this is direct map cache so in direct map cache the middle part of my address will indicate that which position in the cache 
will be your address can be found so this is the position right right this is the position now what i will do we will check whether this tag field whatever is the tag field is there in this address whether this tag is matching with the tag stored in the block if it is so that means the, the whatever address you are looking for is present in the cache but actually that will not only conclude that it is a hit one more is there inside your uh, block one valid bit is there so see one is see first we will get the address from the address one part will tell me what is my index right what is my index means which block of the cache will contain my address so i'll go there next after going there i will try to find out whether it is the block containing my data address because whatever address i have generated means processor has generated this will be inside some block so whether this block whatever is this block is there at this position whether is the block uh, that contains this particular address or not why i am telling you this because cache memory has smaller number of blocks and main memory has got bigger number more number of blocks so for one particular position in the cache there will be more than one contenders of the main memory that means main memory some block numbers will occupy the same position in the cache so it is my duty to find out after getting the position i know this is my position so for this address i know my position in the cache that is very good then next i need to find out that whether the block that is right now present in the cache at this position contains me or not how do i conclude that by checking the tag bits of my address with the tag bits of the block present inside the cache memory please understand inside the cache memory with every block some extra bits are stored termed as tag bits so this tag bit will be uh, uh, compared with this tag bits if they are same as well as inside the block one extra bit is maintained that is called as valid bit if this valid bit is one then only tag is matching as well as valid bit is one then only we will conclude that this address is present inside the cache otherwise not so once again here i have done the matching that my tag is matched with that tag stored in the cache if they are equal means it is equal if it is equal and valid bit value equal to 1 if both are 1 one, 1 one, then only this n gate will produce what 1 this one is indicating what hit that means the data item is found in the cache if it is found then we'll get it from my block this this particular block that is containing the data right so see what i am trying to say a memory address is divided into block address identifies block in memory offset indicates what the byte within a block that means if i know my block then how far from the beginning of the block my byte is there that is the block offset right then next is block address is further divided into two parts one is your uh, that index another is your tag so index is used for what telling me that which block of the main sorry cache memory will contain this particular address right so used for direct cache access and tag is the most significant bits of your block address after the index and how to get the index how do i know that for a particular address how do i know what is my block number in the cache for that block address modulus number of block uh, blocks in the cache memory so whatever is your block number with respect to main memory mod number of blocks present in the cache if we perform this operation whatever remainder we used to get that is the block number for the this particular block of main memory this is the block number in the cache for this given block number of the main memory right then tag must be stored also inside the cache for who, why do you require this for block identification right and valid bit is also required what is the actual meaning of valid bit i'll come to it very shortly a valid bit should be one then only i can say it is a hit 
only tag matching will not conclude that